Hey, preteens, students, and families, thank you so much for checking this video out today. We're so thankful for each of you. We're praying for your family. We love you guys, and in the midst of all this going on, we just want to continue to communicate things that are happening and also bring a word of encouragement to you and your family um, and helping you understand that God is still God, the mission is still the same, and we, as we trust, as we talked about last week, knowing that Jesus is enough, as we trust in Him, walk with Him, we will experience hope in a time that maybe doesn't seem very hopeful. And so just for a quick reminders of our details, uh, just a lot of things happening. Uh, on Tuesdays, we have our guy and girl Bible studies happening through Zoom at 4.30. Uh, Wednesday nights, we have our worship time together that will be on our social media pages. Thursday, we go live on Instagram at 3. And then we have our Thursday April Bible uh, club, April book club that meets at four o'clock through Zoom as well. Those details are all promoted through social media. And then we have a lot of different interactive stories going through uh, for Instagram. Love for you and your students to engage in those. That have been a lot of fun. And then uh, again, uh, Sunday worship, whether that's Sunday uh, morning and Sunday evening when we have our connection group time. Encourage you and your family to make sure you're taking time to sit together, letting the Word of God come into your home. And then as parents, I encourage you, we're putting resources out there for you, family connection guides, things like that, for you to have conversations about what God is leading your kids in and what God's teaching them and things like that. And so again, if you have any questions about any of these things, any of these Bible studies, any of the book club, the Wednesday night stuff, Sunday, anything, don't hesitate to let us know. I want to continue our study of Psalm 16. And we've talked through verse 1, again, how God protects. We looked at verse 2, how God is good. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. God is good. That's simply who He is. Then we looked in verse 5 where we talked about last time about how God is is enough. And we want to read verses 6 through 8 today of Psalm 16. It says this, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I will bless the Lord uh, who counsels me even at night when my thoughts trouble me. I always let the Lord guide me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. That verse 8 is a great verse of hope that our God guides our daily uh, walk our daily lives when we don't know what to do when we're trying to figure out what's next we have a God that we serve that we follow that will take us step by step he doesn't always show us the end of the road but he just shows us the next step in the road that he desires for us to walk in listen to verse 8 again I always let the Lord guide me I want to encourage you right now to have a heart of King Jehoshaphat in the Old Testament saying, God, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. You guide me, Lord, because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. As the Lord guides you, you can walk with great victory and great hope and know that you will not be shaken in a world that seems possibly to be shaken. And so have great hope today to know that the Lord himself is guiding you and will guide you as you seek him. We love you guys. Again, we're praying for you. Always available. Don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions or there's anything we can do for you and your family.